Let's talk about how to calculate a weighted mean center of geographic data. Let's keep this simple and say that we just have these three, these five locations, okay? And let's say further that for reasons uh, that maybe defy logic, these are five trees in a forest, and that for some reason our smaller trees are on the west, and as we move farther and farther east, our trees are getting bigger. Okay, so our weighted mean center, or our mean center in a traditional sense would just be finding the mean longitude and our mean latitude, right, and defining that as our center point. And as I eyeball this, it's probably somewhere in here. Okay, this is the area defined by our weighted, or sorry, our mean center. But if we weight everything <clears throat> so that the bigger trees have more influence, the bigger trees have more gravity and are pulling the mean center towards them, then that mean center is going to move in this direction. Right, and our weighted mean center is going to fall now somewhere over here because we are being pulled towards the larger trees. So what we're really looking for is this the point defined by the weighted mean longitude and the weighted mean latitude. And that is our mean center. And in this case, we're weighting based on tree size so that everything that or the mean is being pulled towards the larger trees. So what I've done here, I've, uh, this first line, I'm just cleaning everything off of my workspace. Here I'm opening up the map, tool, map tools data set. Here I'm creating a matrix uh, filled with 20 randomly normal generated values uh, with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 4, and I'm converting that into a matrix, matrix with two columns. So that first column will be my longitude and the second will be my latitude. Here I'm just reordering that so that these points are sorted from west to east. And I'm doing that because I'm going to artificially add a weight to these values, or not artificially add, but I'm creating a weight that to add to these data that will move from east to west. So that the easternmost points will be the most heavily weighted and the westernmost points will be the least weighted. And then here I'm converting it into a spatial points data set, which is my favorite way of controlling or uh, recording spatial data. Plotting it <coughs> with the uh, point character of 16, which is this big filled-in circle here, adding a box around it just for aesthetic purposes, and then drawing this circle that represents the size of the weights using the symbols command. So I've randomly generated this pattern, and we need to calculate then the weighted mean, or the, yeah, the weighted mean center. So just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to pull out the coordinates from this object. And the mean center would just be the column means of those coordinates. So it's the defined by a longitude of 11.055 and a latitude of 8.148. I can save this and convert it to a, in fact, let me make this a matrix now, of two columns. And we'll make that a spatial points object I haven't assigned a, a datum and a projection here, but if I had, uh, this is where I would make sure that that was correct and lined up with the with the earlier data set. And then I can add weighted mean center to my existing plot. I will set my point character to 16 again and my color equal to red. So there is my mean center. The only difference when I calculate the weighted mean center is that I'm going to weight these values. So weighted mean center, instead of typing the column means of the matrix, I'm going to use the lapply function. Let's use the apply function instead on the coordinates, on the columns, and use the weighted mean function where the weights yeah, so it's a W, where W is equal to this variable that I've created up here, which is F, in which I used to draw those circles. So that's my weighted mean center. Before, uh, my mean center was at 11.055 and 8.1846. When I look at this now, my weighted mean center, it should have shifted. Uh, yeah, so now it's 13.811, so I've moved two 
degrees essentially to the west or to the east, which hadn't happened before. So I will make this a spatial points data, f uh, spatial points object, so that we can put it up there and it will align nicely. This needs to be saved as a matrix with two columns. And let's paint that in blue, shall we? So we'll plot our weighted mean center, um, add that. Our point character will be equal to 16 again. And then this time we'll make our color equal blue. <coughs> Whoops. Equal to 16. Okay, so our mean center was here and our weighted mean center has moved over this way because we have weighted it based on this variable f that we have created and so it has shifted towards the larger values. So that's the easiest way to calculate a weighted mean center in R.